What's up my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to convert any world that you want from Bedrock to Java or Java to Bedrock. We're going to be using a website called Chunker, which is an official converter created by Hive Games and is exclusively licensed to Minecraft. Plus you can use this on PC or you can use it on mobile devices. If you guys want to check out this program, there will be a link in the description. If you guys want to take a look at this program, there will be a link in the description. But without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows the support for the channel. Thank you! First off, I'm going to show you how to convert a Bedrock Edition world over to Java Edition. So for this example, we're going to use Stato Update 2 tutorial world. So I'm going to drag this over here and it's going to prepare our world. So once it's done preparing, it says ready to upload. Let's click on start upload and it will begin uploading your world. It is now unzipping and it's going to detect the version automatically. And once that's done, it will take you to the next part where you can choose which version you want to convert the world to. If you're converting a bedrock world, you can convert it from Java 1.18.2 all the way to 1.8.8. But if you're converting a Java world, then you can go from bedrock 1.18.30 all the way to 1.12.0. If you guys would like to learn how to downgrade your bedrock world, go ahead and click on the eye on the top right of the screen. So we're just going to go for 1.18.2. If I click on advanced mode, then we have a whole range of other tools to use, including an entire world preview. So depending on whatever you have inside your world, you'll be able to see everything, which is pretty cool. But the best part is, you can even change the dimension. Right now, we only have the overworld. Because that's the only dimension that we travel to. But if you were to travel to the nether or the end, then they would show up inside this list. You got the world settings, which are the exact same settings that you would find in the create world screens. So you can change the difficulty, you can choose the generator type, and a whole range of other options to use. You can change the game rules, the restrictions, or even the weather or miscellaneous, which currently there's nothing inside of there. And then we have dimensions and pruning inside of here. You can choose which dimension that you want to prune. And then we got prune chunks inside of a region, which will make it so other chunks inside of a region are discarded. So if I were to choose that, then I go up to world preview. Then right here we result this box. This is going to be the pruning box. So let's say I want to only convert the main area. Then I'll make the box only this size. The chunks outside the box will become newly generated chunks. You have block mapping. From here you can choose an input block and an output block. Now depending on the block that you choose as the input block, it will convert to the output block. So let's say I choose a cage of stairs. Well for every cage of stairs inside the game, I'm going to make that convert to an anvil. So every stair that's in our world will now become an anvil. You've got the identifier validation, which should be turned off if you're using mods. You can calculate block connections, convert items, structure loot tables, in-game maps, discard empty chunks, or prevent wide biome blending. And once you've chosen all of your settings, just click on convert. Then it will start to convert your world. And this is pretty quick. It does depend on the size of the world. If the world's bigger, then it may take longer. And we're now ready to click download, and the world will start to download. But however, now we need to move this to our saves folder. I'm going to copy this, then up in the search bar, I need to type percent out data percent, then when I press enter, then you will find your .minecraft folder. Just simply click on there, go down to saves, and then paste the world right inside there. Right click, and click extract to. Then once you do that, then it will make a new folder. Then once you load up Minecraft, then you'll find yourself the world that you converted. When I click play, it should start to load up the world right away. And here we are in the Tato FD2 tutorial world. Since I only converted the main part of the world, we're going to find newly generated chunks. Like way over there, there's now a jungle. That jungle was not there before. But to be honest, I think this might be a major improvement for the world. It definitely looks really cool with that jungle around this castle. But that is how you can convert any bedrock world over to Java. Next up, let's talk about converting Java worlds to bedrock. You'll need to locate your world that you want to convert. So for me, I have mine in my Minecraft saves folder, so I can just drag that right out of the program from there. Once it's done preparing, then click on start upload. Then once that's done, go ahead and choose your version just like before. So I'm going to choose 1.18.30 bedrock. You can mess with the advanced settings if you want to, but I'm just going to skip that for the time being. And I'm going to click convert and download. And when I click download, then it will give us a .mc world file. So importing it is very, very simple. And there we go. The world import is now finished. So when I click play, you will find the world that you converted right on the very top. And here we are inside of the world. And just like before, we have our main area, we have our village, our castle, and we have our jungle in the background as well. 
and we even have our savannah way back there as well. So it does seem like everything in the world did convert properly. And that's how you convert Java worlds to bedrock. This program definitely is a really cool piece of software. And I definitely do recommend it if you want to convert any of your worlds from Java to bedrock or bedrock to Java. I mean, it's very easy, very simple, and the best part is, it's completely free. I mean, you can't say no to free, right? If you guys want to take a look at this program, there will be a link down below in the description. And if you enjoyed today's video, then consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're around here, and don't forget to turn on those notifications, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.